All right, what's up, people? Tax season. Uh, this is my Snyder. Just got my letter from Snyder uh, about a week old now. I thought about doing this video for y'all. I try to get information. Hopefully, a cut back on all the phone calls that I get from different guys or whatever. But uh, Snyder, uh, they don't just kind of leave you out there. They, they keep track of your fuel and different things like that um, throughout the year, your insurance and stuff. So once they give you your, your gross for the year, they break a lot of that stuff down. So... Um, some things you don't have to keep track of. Now, stuff you purchase on your own with your own credit card, own cash, you need to keep track of all that. And that's why I have these right here. Um, other things I want to tell y'all, uh, I'm getting a lot of phone calls from different people and that's cool, but understand this. Like I said, I'm a busy dude. I'm on two different committees. Um, on operator, you know, I'm, I'm picking my loads, you know, and when it's not, we really can't talk on the phone while we're driving. So, like, I don't really have a lot of time, just unlimited time. So, I don't mind helping people. But if you already got somebody that signs you up, that person is supposed to help you. Like, don't let somebody sign you up and now you calling me for help. That don't, That is not right. The person that signed you up, that's who's supposed to help you. I've had, like, three dudes to call me. And um, they had a... Now, they already had somebody sign them up and they were acting like they really didn't know if somebody signed them up. So I think they knew. So, I mean, I don't want to get to the point where I, I got to screen people first before I deal with you. I mean, just be honest. If you got somebody sign you up, I still use some information, but go to that person. That's who's supposed to lead you. Um, uh, if you want to get a truck with Schneider and you have tax problems, like you got some back tax you got to pay on whatever. You can't get a truck through Schneider. You got to clean that up stuff. You got to clean that up first. I mean, you need to have that stuff cleaned up anyway if you're trying to handle business as a, as a man. Uh, other thing, uh, 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 people that, that that used to smoke weed or whatever in the past. Look, man, if you're trying to get on Schneider, it's, it's, you can't smoke. So you need to do a detox, clean yourself up, and once you feel like everything is out of your system, then try to apply with Snyder. Don't come over here hoping you pass. And if you know you were smoking last month or last week or the day before, like clean yourself up before you try to um um apply and, and and cut your hair and all that and just do start yourself over. Do a new you, man. Start over and clean yourself up. Uh, other thing, uh, I can't think. But last point, I want to drive it home. If you have somebody that has signed you up, that guy supposed to mentor you and show you the ropes. I don't mind helping people, but I'm a busy man. So people that want me to help you, don't let anybody else sign you up because that person is supposed to help you. Like if they're getting paid for it, they're supposed to help you. Like I'm not going to help you and I ain't getting paid and then some other dude getting paid. Like you got to think about it. Like I'm a nice guy, but I'm... I'm in this thing to do business. And a part of doing business is financial gain. So I understand that. Uh, I said, not trying to be an asshole to people, but I don't have all this time in the world. I got a lot of stuff to do. Um, and if, if y'all got some questions, ask me in the comments. And I'll try to do a video on some of y'all questions. So I can cut down some of the phone calls and stuff that I get. All right, people.